there can be politics. Oh, absolutely. And it could be, uh, uh, there could be two people, and uh, one person could paint uh, a rock, you know, and depending, you know, what kind of uh, status they have, they could end up, you know, getting $10,000 for that picture of a rock where somebody else spent half a year of his life painting something more refined or more, you know, settle, but have all the time in on it, and some offer some 20 bucks. <laughs> you know, that's the way it is, that's the way it is, that's what makes the world go around. Yeah, yep, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, my experience was that rich people are like everyone else, are a mixed bag, and some of them are in fact very nice. And yeah, some of them are. Some of them are, you can tell totally how they got rich, no doubt about it. Yeah, they all about them. All right, well, this is great. Oh, maybe I'll do another little twist up over here. By the wall. Really hard to work with acrylic. Then he's very really selling fine. Anybody's got a couple, you know, uh, he showed a little bit of his personality in it. You know, uh, they told him what they wanted him to paint, but he basically was the one that made a decision. And he put little mysterious things, little things, trying to say things, or maybe not trying to say anything, just to kind of throw everybody off, you never know. Mm -hmm. But he did do other things and Kind of gives you an idea of what was going on inside his head too, because he had a little bit of free, a little bit of freedom when he when he painted, which was really important. It, uh, it's a good thing to have freedom. And so most of the time you have some freedom, but not complete freedom? Not complete freedom. Basically, when you're doing stuff for people, you're being hired. And, uh, but every so often you get ones that they say, hey, you know, go crazy with it. Paint what you want to paint, but not many people do that. The only time you really get freedom now, I do do oil paintings. I do oil paintings and I have a little bit of freedom there. You do them for yourself? Basically. It, uh, I've gave away a lot of paintings. Most of them I've done I've gave away. To friends and family and stuff like that. And I was in the sculpting for a while. That could be very time consuming. What sort of sculptures were they representational? Um, somewhere between uh, architecture and, and, uh, and nature. Kind of combination kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of caught between two worlds. And made out of wood? Well, I did it in clay a few times and stuff like that in clay. Then I took a, took a crack with soapstone. Then a few times did some oversized concrete structures. Uh, that was process of chicken wire wood and the layout designed and and then fill her with newspaper or whatever just to, so it wouldn't fill up so much concrete and start putting it over it, the concrete, mortar mix. Then I uh, always have a, a bucket of uh, vinegar close by to soak your hands and watch the stuff, all the poisons seep out of your hands because if you didn't do that, you'd die of lye poisoning. 
But uh, when your hands are real dry, you better have a, a big thing of Vaseline to put on your hands every night, a whole bunch, because it dries your hands out bad. There's, a, there's hazards in anything you do. And, uh, plus you gotta work pretty fast when you're doing a concrete statue, you know, because it sets up. You gotta think about what you're gonna use and how quick you gotta use it and get in there and get it and before it starts hardening up and you can't use it no more. You're basically smoothing things out and using any kind of tool you can, and butter knife, uh, you know, texture with, with a paintbrush or a broom, whisk broom, or whatever's possible to, to make your your uh, your grain or whatever kind of design you're making. That uh, whisk whisk broom is good for like if you're doing concrete structure for hair. Street, you know, get the concrete on there and then just go like this and at least little lines to it, it looks like hair. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a simple things, sometimes simple things can get your point across.